Hey everyone! For some reason, every time I try to do the intro, this car does some really weird stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of BT Builds. Today, we are gonna take and make this thing look like a Tesla. If you haven't seen from the previous video, we did get it running and driving. Oh man. Now, we know everything works, so let's get this thing put back together. Stay tuned! Now, if you've seen before, this headlight was not working at the time. Off camera, I did get it working. It was a light bulb. Ah. These outside lights, the D, SL, DLRs, whatever they are, are not working. So I tested this, and we have a broken wire somewhere in that loom. So the first thing I'm gonna do before we build out this whole front end is I'm going to take and re-remove all the wiring. Try to get to this as best as I can. This wire, you might not be able to see, it's a blue and white wire, and that is broke. So I'm gonna have to repair this wire. I'm probably not gonna show it on camera because it's really tight and hard to get in there, but we figured it out. All right, so I re-ran all the wires, reconnected everything, and connected the headlight. So now we should have power here. If not, I'm gonna have to take that all back apart, but we should have power. And I made sure that the ground wire was connected. I couldn't check it because that ground wire right there has to be connected to power everything on this side, and it wasn't long enough, so let's hope that this works. Okay, we got power to the headlights. Suspension's there enough, and We did it! Should've did it while the shock tower was out and repaired the wires, but... You're an idiot! It's fixed now. Now that we got the headlight figured out, there is some more electrical connectors that need to go up here for the parking sensors, the hood release, and these vents. Also, I did get a new one of these, the positive for the jump that hooks up here. So I'm gonna go ahead, install this, take this all out, put this in here, and then work on putting in the other electrical. See, I screwed up, and I'm gonna have to disassemble all this. I've already started disassembling all this because I forgot to put that bar in there. That actually goes in first behind there, unfortunately. So now I'm gonna have to tear apart the whole front end and re-put that in there and then put everything back together. Now that I have pretty much everything installed on the front, I'm gonna start working on putting on the fender. If I remove this side skirt, I could get to them bottom bolts to throw on the fender, and then I could throw on the wheel liner, and then this side will be pretty much complete. Yeah. 
In the accident, there was these little pieces right here that hold the fender on, and those got ripped off. And Tesla wants a fortune for brackets, so I custom made my own brackets to put on here. That way we can attach the fender properly, and this cost about $2. Tesla wanted about $200. I mean, I know it's not OEM, but it's gonna work, so. Let's throw these on here. I did buy a fender that was damaged, but it was part of a package deal. This came in it, and I knew that this was damaged. I thought I could fix it and re-weld it. This piece that goes in here, it does not line up and it tends to sag down. Good news is, this just came in, and this is a brand new OEM fender. It even has a plastic thing, so I know it's gonna be straight. You guys already seen me install this fender. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Now it's time to install fender liner, radar, and bumper. And this thing should start to look like a Tesla. If it doesn't line up, then that means we did get it wrong and the shock tower is in the wrong spot. Let's install the bumper. I'm quite nervous about this but I think, I think we have a good shot at this thing lining up. Front bumper is installed, and check this out. The side that was crashed, it's lining up perfectly. It's looking so good. Now on this side though, the side that wasn't in the accident, we got a funny little gap right here. I'm gonna work on that. I think that this little clip when it was in the accident got pulled away. It might be broken, I got some more clips. But for now, I'm gonna get into installing the front grill, oval, and the hood. After about six or seven hours, we got this thing looking pretty sick. Now, I did stop by the Tesla service center, because you can't call it a dealership, and some of the panel gaps on this thing, the fitment is not the best. Let me show you. So if you look at right here, this panel gap is not looking the best. Now, I did talk to the service guy there. They had issues this year in panel gapping. All in all, it looks pretty good. In the next video, I'm gonna start working on the body work for this and revealing the color of the wrap. As always, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It truly helps me out. Here soon, I'm gonna be revealing how much this costs to build and I haven't quite added it up yet. I'm a little nervous about it. I'll catch you on the next one and peace.